this this may sound silly, but is is it possible for me to get my phone back, or do I just need to go have a, a new one set up for now? Uh, we'll we'll get in that here in just a minute, okay. uh, and I think I can answer that a little more thoroughly than than. But I hate to just kind of start with that. No, okay, I know that's uh, fine. <laughs> just, that see, just a little bit so that we're not getting overflow noise there. Okay. Uh, all right. Feel like deja vu. It was it was a little more intense last night, okay. to say the least. All right, Eric, what is your middle initial? J. And it's Howard, right? Yes, sir. And we'll start off with your address. One sixty five, Styles Road, Paducah, Kentucky, four two zero zero three. And your date of birth? Six twenty six eighty eight. And your social? 406-35-3591. Okay. And you're married, single, or divorced? Uh, single. But might as well be married. Okay. And you're self-employed? Yes, sir. And cell phone number, and I know we probably got that, but that number is what? 983-2265. Okay, and an emergency contact. I'd be in this number. I don't know it off the top of my head. Okay, the 502 number. Yeah. <laughs> and now the way cell phones are now that there's maybe two numbers that I've memorized. Uh, I'm, I'm right there with you. I think everybody is. It should not be that way. 502 338 Okay. And, um,. How tall are you? Uh, about 6'4". How much do you weigh? 205. Okay. Natural hair color brown yeah. and blue eyes or green? Blue. Blue. Couldn't really see. All right. Her reports, there's so many fields that you have to fill out or it won't let you go forward. So that's that's the purpose in all those questions, no, okay? I understand. Um, I know we've been here before. Um, after uh, after informing you of your rights last night, uh, I know that you chose to speak to an attorney, um, and it's my understanding since then you have spoke to that attorney or an attorney, and you um, have post that conversation. You feel comfortable in proceeding to go ahead and speak to me and explain to me the events that occurred last night. Is that yes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, this is a mere protection of you and me, but since it's been not quite 24 hours but several hours since we did this i'm going to go ahead and go through and just inform you of your rights okay just because you're informed of your rights doesn't mean that you are or will be in any trouble that's just your protection and mine and it's kind of our policy especially when you're dealing with something like this to be sure that everything is understood okay uh you have a right to remain silent anything you say can and will be used against you in court uh, you have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford to hire one, the court would appoint one for you. You can waive those rights, you can make a statement, you can answer questions, or you can request a consultation with your attorney. And you can evoke those rights at any time. Okay? Do you understand all of them completely? Any questions about anything that I said? No, any sir. uncertainties? Okay. Um, and again, I know this is somewhat of a, a redundant act because last night when we got this point, you, you felt the need to to, to talk to an attorney, and again, you've done that, and, and now you've recontacted me, and we've spoke, and you've agreed to come in to t and talk to me. Um, like I told you on the phone, I don't I don't anticipate this taking very long. Uh, basically, uh, I just want to get, uh, I want to start and kind of maybe go back uh, several days, weeks, or months, or even years, if that's what's required here. You're the only person that knows that. And, and what I mean is I'm going to start off with, with Chris Ingram and, you know, figure out how long you've known Chris, uh, what your relationship is with him, you know, how you know him, uh, and just kind of progress me through the, again, days, months, weeks, or years as to when you first met him and, and kind of how your all's relationship has been and informed and, and you know kind of leading up to last night and then uh, you know we'll you know maybe get into some more specifics but you want to start with that that probably be the easiest place for you to start 
and um, help me begin to understand, you know, what transpired for this to unfold. Um, okay. Yeah, we've uh, we've known each other roughly five years. Okay. Uh, we've always been real close. I mean, I've always considered him a good friend. A uh, couple of years back, uh, I I've been fooling around on my girlfriend, the same girl I'm with now, and. Uh, he didn't like that, you know, she was, she was friends with his fiance at the time, so, you know, my girlfriend was over there talking to his fiance, and he seen, now she was tore up and shit, you know, so me and him didn't speak for, I don't know, six or eight months after that, Okay. and uh, every while back, you know, I mean, we, we spoke when we saw each other, but we didn't hang out, you know, and, and uh, you know, it was still, type of thing, if he called me up and said, hey man, I need you for something, I was gonna be there for him, you know, vice versa. Okay. Uh, you know, I didn't by no means hate him, you know, but he just, he, he's a guy that's busy with work, I'm busy with work, and you know, hell, it just happened the way it did. Uh, and that was when? That was uh, when her and I, when her and I split up then, that was, uh, it was about two years ago. Okay. So I'd known him for a few years before that happened. We were tight, we were good friends. Okay. Uh, so fair to summarize at that point that he disagreed or didn't approve of how you were treating your girlfriend or had treated her. Well, he didn't approve that I was cheating on her, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, back in, I guess it was September. He called me up and I talked to him a couple times, you know, since then, but he called me up and he's like, uh, I just got out of jail, I'm in Alabama. I'm like, you know, and I hadn't talked to him in a while, you know, and, and first thing I said to him, I'm like, you, well, you, you need me to come get you, you know? I knew that he was down there in Gulf Shores with his, with his fiance at the time and uh, they apparently had gotten into it and, uh, uh, I don't know the specifics. I was in Paducah and he was in Gulf Shores, so I'm just going by what I was told. Uh, it was him, his fiance, and their daughter, and they got into a physical altercation, and there was a weapon involved in that, I believe. There's a gun in that that either I think she pulled on him or he pulled on her. It was it was a gun that he that he traveled with. That's what mm -hmm. I'm getting at. Uh, and uh, you know, and, and like I said, you know, I. I'm like, well, you know, what do you need? You need me to come get you? You need me to wire some money? What do you need? You know, he just got out of jail. Hell, I figured he didn't have nothing. He said, no, I've called my dad. He's sending someone down here to get me. Uh, I'll be on my way home here in a couple hours. And I'm like, well, when you get here, just holler at me. You know, whatever I can do to help, just let me know. You know, you know, he's he told me he's like, you know, I'm 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 done with her shit. You know, I'm I'm gonna start the the custody papers whenever I get home and this and that. And I'm like, well, whatever I can do to help you, I will, man. And uh, uh, from that point on, uh, <clears throat> he'd hang out and stuff. Me and him would hang out. He'd help me out with stuff. I'd help him out with stuff. Uh, he got he was put out of his house once the whole custody thing happened. He couldn't he couldn't live in his own house anymore because his fiance was there. So. Uh, and this is September of this 2016. Mm -hmm. Okay, three three four months ago. About, yeah, about okay. four months ago. Okay, that's when all this started. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's about four months ago, and uh, he's got a room down at his shop that he can stay at, you know, and he's got a girl that he was seeing that, you know, he could stay with her, and he's just kind of bouncing around couch surfing here and there. Yeah. But I told him, I'm like, you know, whenever you have your daughter, you know, I'm, you know, if you want a, a homely place to keep her so you're not at your shop, you know, you can stay here if you need to. And he's like, okay, I appreciate it. And he, he really didn't ever stay that much, you know. In the past, in the past six weeks, I think he's probably stayed over one time. You know, uh, uh, you know, and there's times where he'll ask, ask, you know, me and my me and my girlfriend to watch his daughter for him, or hey, go pick her up from here for me, and stuff like that. And she's been in such a mess with their custody battle that. We were just trying to do what we could do for her, honestly, yeah. and that's that's the truth, you know. And uh, yesterday, uh, 
just like it was on, you know, I'm, uh, I'm assuming just like what Emily told you guys, I'm, I know her and I know how honest she is. Uh, you know, it was, it was a fine day, you know, uh, uh, Emily, Emily had Abby that day, they was hanging out. Uh, I wouldn't feel any my back was hurt, so I was kind of just laid up in bed yesterday, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, uh, I just I wasn't feeling good. Hell, I've been sick for almost two and a half weeks. I started getting like an upper chest infection or something. And then they turned into no, uh, pneumonia. It scared me. But anyway, uh, the day was fine. Everything was good. Chris had some. Uh, Chris had some uh, class that he had to go to for like a continuing education or something. Okay. Uh, for one of his licenses, I guess. Yeah. And he asked if uh, he asked if Emily and I would would pick Abby up yesterday morning. So we went and picked Abby up, and you know we had her there at, uh, all morning. And I was asleep. I woke up at I don't know. I I, I woke up early yesterday morning. I was up at six thirty, but then I napped here and there and stuff like that. And just kind of just taking it easy because I wasn't feeling good. Yeah. And, <coughs> Uh, I woke up at like, I don't know, probably 3 or 3.30 and, and Chris was already, he was, he was at the house, he was done with his class. And, uh, he was at your house? Yeah. Okay. Which his daughter was at my house. Okay. So, so yesterday, Chris got to your house about what time? I'd say probably 3 o'clock. I, well, I don't know what time he got there because like I said, I was asleep. Probably, he, I, he hadn't been there long, so I'd say 2.30. I mean, I don't want you to think I'm, I'm BSing you or nothing, because like I said, I, I really was asleep. Uh, so around early afternoon, is that fair? Yeah, that's okay. fair. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he hadn't been there long is what I'm getting at, and it was about 3 or 3.30 when I woke up. And he, and he has a key to the house? He did have. There's just a hide key out there now. Okay. I'm pretty sure that I got his key back. Okay. But you had given him one at one time? At one time. Well, it was, it was like a... I was going out of town, and he was going to come over and feed my cat and stuff like that while okay. we were out of town. So, so this key, I, I need to dwell on this for just a second, okay? This key, um, tell me what scenario or, or explanation is, is the most accurate or, or what is accurate, you know, in detail here that was this key given to him for the purpose of this will get you in and out when you need to feed my cat and dog, or is this key given to him so that he can come and go as he pleases? Is this key given to him because was, he's yeah. got a bed there and clothes and uh, property so that he's now living with no, you? He doesn't. He doesn't have a bed there. The bed that's the any bed or furniture that's in the house is is completely mine. He's okay. got a few changes of clothes over there. Okay. You know, that's okay. just sitting on a table. You know. Um, you know, I mean, but that's that's it. You know. There, so there's a hide a key, and Chris knew where it was. Yeah. Okay. And that's what I don't understand, cause hell, I mean, you know, um, why kick the damn door off the hinges? Yeah. You know. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, my, you know, my, my employees and any good friend of mine. You know, typically knows where the where my hide key is from my house. You know, there's four or five people, you know, that that know how to get in. It's people I trust. Right. You know, but no, I mean it was there was never a key given to. I've never given anyone a key to my house to say, hey, just come and go as you please. And sure. you know, no, it's uh, you know, if if he was gonna stay there, it would be like. You know, check in with me, make sure it's cool. You stay here tonight. You okay, know what I'm saying? Right. That makes sense. It wasn't just, uh, he wasn't residing with you. We, no, we weren't yeah. roommates or nothing like sure. that. I pay every bill. You know, he didn't, you know, pay any rent, nothing like that. It's just, you know, then like I said, hell, he, you know, he only, he's only stayed there, actually physically slept there maybe, maybe five or six times, honestly. Since September? Yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, his daughter stayed over quite a bit, but that's because we, we babysit her, you know. Okay. 
Go ahead. So yesterday he gets to your house early afternoon. You're asleep. You get up. Y'all interact yesterday afternoon. Yeah, I talked to him for a minute. Okay. And uh, um, go ahead. I talked to him for a minute, and uh, we just kind of shot the shit. And he's like, uh, I told him, I'm like, I think Emily's gonna take, you know, take the take Abby out to a movie night. The girls are gonna go to a movie. And he's like, Well, you wanna go shoot pool or something? I'm like, I'm like, ma'am, I hadn't been feeling good today. I'm like, but. If I'm up and going, I'm like, you know, and, and feeling better, yeah, I'd like to go. And he says, all right, cool. He's like, I got some shit that I got to go take care of. I'll call you here after a while and blah, 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 you know. And blah, I don't mean blah, 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 but that's, that was pretty much the end of it, you know. Gotcha. You know, I'll holler at you later and just, you know, we'll go from there. I said, okay, cool. Uh, I set up for a couple hours. Uh, me and Emily got into it probably around... Five o'clock. It wasn't like when I say got into it. I don't mean like you know fighting, choking, punching, hitting, nothing like that. You know she. I was talking too loud on the phone, and you know she was just fussing at me for it, and I fussed back at her. You know like well what you know what the fuck ever. Then I'll go back back to the room. You know shit. <laughs> I mean you know it wasn't a huge a huge deal. You know right. what I mean. Uh, not in my eyes, it wasn't. You right. know? I mean, and you know, uh, I can see how how somebody that you know, and 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 like and like I said before, you know that that little girl, she's seen a lot already, and that's the whole point of of her, you know, watching her so she doesn't see that shit, and that's you know why that why I just told him, you know, hey, I'm just I'm gonna go back to the bedroom and leave you alone, you know, do what you need to do. And, uh, and she was cool. She wasn't, you know, she was like, well, we're going to the movies here in a little bit. That's fine. I said, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to the bedroom and watch TV for a little bit and lay back down. She said, okay, fine. Well, I ended up going back to sleep. And uh, Emily came in at 1030 when she got home from the movies with Abby and, uh, and woke me up. She's like, hey, what are you doing still asleep? You no, know, she was, by this time, she was cool. You know, she was cooled off. I was cooled off. Everything was fine. And and I was like, damn, I'm like, what time is it? And she's like, 1030. I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, I'm like, that damn Chris didn't even wake me up. She was like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, you know, he, he said he was, he's going to holler at me before he, before he went out. You know, I'm like, and, you know, I, I figured that, you know, that he would have, he would have called and woke me up or something, you know? And, uh. She was like, oh, well, you know, uh, I, I, she's like, I don't know, we've been at the movies. I'm like, all right, well, I sent him a text, and, and all I said was, don't quote me word for word, but I, I believe I was just like, damn, bro, I thought you was going to, I thought you was going to call me and wake me up, I was going to go shoot pool, you know, and uh, the, the, res the reply that I got back was, uh, fuck you, you, you know, fighting in front of my kid, you're a piece of shit, fucking drunk, alcoholic, motherfucker, da 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 da, da. you know, and I'm just like, oh, you know, where's, where's the shit coming from? And I got another one from him that was before that, it was like, I'm at, I'm at, K it was bef before I texted him, you know, uh, before I sent the first text, it was like, hey, we're gonna go shoot pool, he had sent me one that said, I'm at KC's right now, and I was, you know, and that's why I texted him, like, damn, I thought you was gonna call me, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, let, let me not lose track here, okay? Um, if you can, if you can hit pause for just a second, I just want to make sure that I'm kind of shorthanding a few notes here as we go. So you got into a minor argument uh, with Emily. Yes, sir. Uh, it wasn't. You couldn't even classify it really as a fight or an argument. It was a few words exchanged, and that was it. I went down the hallway back to my room, and she went out to a living room. Before you basically went to bed. Yeah. I, I, that's exactly what I did. I went straight to bed. Okay. So you get into a minor verbal argument with Emily. It was no big deal. And, and Eric went back to bed. Um, then Emily woke. Um, woke me up at approximately 10.30. Eric up at... 10.30, approximately. Saying approximately, talking like I'm a damn 
You. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. Um, and wondered why Chris hadn't called to go out. Correct. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I sent him a text and asked him why he never called me to go out. Uh, Eric sent Chris text, inquiring as to why he didn't call. And that's when you got kind of the heated response. Okay. But at that point, it was so late at that point, I wasn't going to go out. You know, I told him if I went out, it'd be around you know, right. 7 o'clock, 7.30. You know. Nothing that you that you said there was in any way an instigating remark to him. No, I, I'm well. I was getting there. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so, so basically, Chris' response. Um, in short, cussed you out? Pretty much. Okay. I'm sure you guys have seen text messages. Well, we, we, we have not specifically seen your text messages. Um, and I'll, I'll get into that in just a minute, but um, go ahead and pick up there. Uh, Chris' response cussed you out. The only thing that I said back was, I was like, Chris, you're no, I'm like, I'm like, you're no better fucking, you know, you fucking chase pills with fucking booze, you know, and that's, that's all I said back, you know, and I wasn't trying to start no shit with him when I said it, you know, I just, I really wasn't, you know, okay. it would be like what he said to me, you know, if the, the message that I got from him. You know, that wouldn't be, if someone sent me that same message, that's not uh, a message that I'm going to get and say, well, I'm going to fuck you up over that. And if you get what I'm saying, uh, I mean, it's just crazy shit. So you basically accuse him of being a pillhead, in, in essence. I guess. I guess you could say that. And I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to slant what you're telling me to sound better or worse. I'm just I'm I'm merely trying to kind of summarize the text because the text will obviously stand alone. I just don't want to I don't want to put on paper anything that's out of context. Okay. Um, you shoot him a text basically saying, "Hey, you're no better. You're you're you know yeah. you drink you drink and chase it with pills or vice versa." You're referring to him being a druggie or a pill head or a drug user or, or, or something yeah. that that may have been how that was perceived I'm assuming okay um, now one thing I want to touch on he said before this that he had been he was at KC's you knew or he had he had texted you even though you hadn't seen it and told you he was at KC's is that right mm -hmm. okay um, put this in here Okay, go ahead. Uh, after that message, after the text I sent him, the the next one that I got back was, "Fuck you, I'm gonna I'm gonna whip your ass." Da 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 da. And I messaged him back, and I'm, I think I messaged him back. I honestly, I, I don't remember if I messaged him back or not. Uh. Uh. I think I did. I think I messaged him back and was like, "Chris, quit playing, man. It ain't, you know, something like that." I'm like, I'm like, just chill, some shit like that. Uh. <clears throat> but he uh, he sent you a text message specifically saying that he was gonna kick your butt. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I didn't take it serious. You know, I'm, I've known this guy for years, and we've never. Never fought. No. Okay. You know. You know uh, we haven't. You know. I mean, we've. You know, there's been things that I've done. You know, personally that he disagrees with, and things he's done that I disagree with. You know, and 
but never anything like, you know, like what like we're we're gonna come to blows over. Okay. It's never been that way. So you responded to that basically. Chill out. Yeah. Okay. Just chill out, man. You know. Uh, okay. Go ahead. After that, it's, I had a, to be honest with you, I'm in my pajamas. Like I said, I'd, I'd only been up 10 minutes. Uh, I told I told Emily, I'm like, uh, Emily's home. I told okay. Emily, I said, hey, I just got to, I'm like, what's up with Chris? I just got a text message from him saying he's going to whip my ass. I'm like, you know, what's going on? She's like, she's like, I don't know. She's like, uh, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, call him and I'm going to leave here and go meet him somewhere so he can get Abby is what she said. She said I'm going to I'm going to meet him somewhere so he can get Abby. Okay. You know. And and I I think she was planning on uh trying to have him meet her at a hotel room and you know she was going to get him set up in a room. You get okay. what I'm saying? Cuz she could could tell he was, you know, by the way he's talking that he was intoxicated. <clears throat> Uh, so I think she was kind of trying to look out for his best interest. Okay. Uh, uh, and Emily told me she's she's like I'm I'm gonna you know like I said she's said I'm gonna leave here I'm gonna take Abby with me and, and I'm gonna meet Chris somewhere so he can so he can you know get her and that will squash you know. Uh, maybe it'll just cool him off. And I'm like you know she's like you know she said you know he's he's. He, he, he'll cool off whenever he sees her, you know, and I'm like, well, yeah, that's right, you know, that, that makes sense. Uh, <coughs> uh, what time did she leave, approximately? 10.45. Okay. 10.50, maybe. I, I, honestly, I didn't really look at the clock, Mr. Carter. Okay. Um... And at this time, have you communicated with Chris? Any is there any more communication between you and Chris? Uh, Basically, after you told him just chill out, and Emily said that she was going to reach out to him, or I think I tried calling him, but I didn't get him. Okay. I tried calling him, but I didn't get him. No more text messages, and he didn't text or call you. Uh, not that I remember. Uh, okay. I was cooking a pizza at that point, to be okay. honest with you. Right. I was. I had a, uh, Emily, before she left, she said, she said, hey, I'm leaving. She said, I put you a pizza in the oven. She said, watch it, okay? I said, all right, I will. Okay. You know, and that's pretty much it. Okay. You know? uh, I didn't, honest, honest to God, I didn't expect, expect him to come out there. And, 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 and really, I kind of figured if he does show up out here, the door's locked. He doesn't have a key. You know, there's uh, there's the hide the hide key that was outside. It was actually it's actually on my counter right now, so it wasn't out there. Okay. But there typically is a hide key out there. Okay. I just remember that because it's a pink princess key. That's always the one I put as a hide key. So the hide key was not out there. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I just, I didn't expect him to show up, is what I'm saying. Okay. You know, I, I really didn't. Uh, what I, what I did do, uh, I took, I wasn't thinking that that hide key wasn't out there, uh, okay. to be honest with you. I just remembered seeing it on the counter okay. earlier today. Um, uh, I took chairs and put them in front of the door because I wasn't thinking about the hide key not being out there. So I figured, you know, if he if he remembers to get the the key that's under the grill, you know, you know, if he if he's not too fucked up and and remembers where that key is, I stuck a chair in front of the door on all three doors actually, okay. just in hopes that if you know, worst case scenario, you can't get in. Okay. 
This is definitely not the type to do anything but just be completely forthcoming and honest, okay? Yes, sir. Um, this is not about who's going to be the hero or the zero or uh, how, how big of a man or how big of a chicken anybody is, but, you know, at the time that you put these chairs in front of these doors, um, can you explain what you were processing in your mind as your reason for doing that? My reason for doing it? Like I said, when, when I did it, I honestly didn't even expect Chris to show up there. I really okay. didn't. Uh, you know, that's the God's honest truth. What, you know, and... Well, I'm assuming that there was at least part of you that thought as a just-in-case Just in case. Because, obviously, if you truly didn't believe that he wasn't coming and you was confident of that, there would have been no reason for you to have taken any type of a, of an action to try to prevent I get him. I, I see what you're saying, and what, what I'm getting at is at the same time, I get where you're coming from, but I also am thinking to myself, well, there's a key outside, you know, okay. so this will at least, you know, if someone, if he does show up, okay. it'll at least, you know, keep him from just walking right in my house. You get know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I, I really didn't expect him to show up. I really didn't expect him to show up with anyone else. Okay. You know, honest to God. Mr. Carter, I figure, you know, worst case scenario, if he did show up, was, you know, he'd knock on the door and, you know, be like, you know, hey, what's up, blah, 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 and just talk some shit, you know, just being drunk, you know, and me talking down, worst case. At this point that you put these chairs in front of the door, um, you, you obviously were attempting to prevent him from coming into your house. Yes, sir. Uh, was you doing that just because you didn't want to talk to him or see him? Was you doing that because of that reason and you were afraid? Yeah. Was you were... Yeah, I was scared. Okay. Yeah. And, and when you say that you were scared, you were scared for what reason? Because he'd been texting me telling me he's going to come kick my ass. Okay. Okay. I mean, um, you know... I mean, I was, you know, I was scared. At that point, I was scared. Okay. You know, uh, I know Chris. Uh, I I know how people can be when they're drunk. You know, I know when someone's drunk, they don't think clear, and you know they're liable to, you know, you know, help Chris. Chris, you know, hell, he's he's got handguns and shit too. You know, I mean, he's got he's got firearms and stuff too. So I mean, you know, was I expecting it to come come? come down to that no I really wasn't you know but you never know what so I didn't I also didn't expect him to you know bring someone else to my house and kick my doors off the hinges you know that's something that you so is it fair to say that all that was in efforts as a you, you were trying to take preventative measures to prevent there being any type of a altercation or issue yeah okay. you know and from the time that you know Emily left and all this started to, you know, when my door's being kicked on, it's less than 15 minutes, you know. Okay. Let's go to when you were up, did you drink anything? If you did, that's, that's fine. I'm just, I need to know when you got up in this 15 minute window from Emily leaving no, 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 to no, you, you no. didn't have any more to drink or anything, okay? No. Uh, honest, honest to God, I had uh, three shots, three shots of whiskey at about when I woke up at 3.30 or three o'clock. So you didn't drink any more after 3.30 yeah, in the three, afternoon? 3.30. I. That's a little later than that because I sat there and, like I said, I talked to Chris for a minute. Maybe and, four? Yeah, maybe about four or something like that. Three, okay. Between 3.30 and 4 o'clock. Okay. Uh, and then didn't, <laughs> didn't drink anything else. Okay. Of night. Getting down to the to kind of the, the nitty-gritty, if you will, when you were first 
when you first realized that there was somebody at your home, where were you? How did you know this? And just as best you possibly can, walk me through kind of step by step how this unfolded once you realize somebody's here. What would happen? Uh, let me think back. Was there, let me ask you this, was there any more, at this time, was there any more phone calls between you all or text messages? No, I wasn't, that's what, that's what I'm saying, like I wasn't, I really wasn't expecting him. Okay. He just kind of quit and I figured, well, hell, he's at, he's at KC's, he just, you know, blew the shit over. Okay. You know, that's kind of what I thought. I figured he's either at KC's and he's blowing it over or he met Emily and got Abby, is what I was thinking. Okay. One of the two, okay. you know, and hell, I'm, I, my number one priority is fixing this damn pizza in the oven. Okay. Is what I was doing. Okay. Um, and I mean that's that's the truth. Okay. All right, go ahead. I'm trying to think of where I was in the house. I can't remember if I was in the kitchen or if I was in the bedroom. I really can't. Well, what made you realize that somebody was there? Let's start I was, with that. I was in the I was in the bedroom. Okay. Or actually, I was in the bathroom, but yeah. And back, I heard, I heard. Okay. And I'm like, son of a bitch. I'm like, someone's here. And my bedside table, there's. Which, which bathroom was you in? Your master bath or the hallway bath? Master bath. The okay. orange one. Okay. Uh, I heard beating on the door, and uh, it wasn't just beating on the door, it was really fucking beating on the door and <clears throat> I grabbed that pistol that was laying on my bedside table I walked to the end of the hallway uh, where I, the kitchen door you know uh, right there at the very end of the hallway right where the kitchen you know kitchen's here dining room's here okay. and and Chris is beating on my Glass back door, you know, hollering. Uh, you know that's Chris. I can tell by his voice it's Chris. Okay. And 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 I hear him hollering from that door. Uh, I'm gonna fuck you up, bitch. We're gonna kill you, motherfucker. And and then by the time he does it, and this whole this whole time. Okay. Hold 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 on. Let me let me let me, let me document this. Um, when you were in the bathroom, you heard someone beating on the door. Could you tell which door? Not at the time. Okay. And then you figured out that it was the back door? Once I got up and walked out of the bathroom. Okay. Yeah. And, I mean, and, I rushed and you could hear bathroom. Chris's voice? Yeah, he's, okay. he was, it looked, uh, the blinds were down so I couldn't really tell, <clears throat> but it seemed to me like he was kicking the door because it was, he, it was being hit really, 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 really hard. Uh, sorry, I stood up like I, like I was going to show you what I, but I, I can't show you because I didn't, I couldn't really see through it good enough to tell. <clears throat> and Chris said what? He's on the back porch holler and, and he's, he's on the back porch holler and he's like, he's like, we're going to fuck you up. I'm going to kill you, motherfucker. It's on. And that's, and I, I holler back at him. I'm like, I'm like, Chris, just go the fuck away. I said, I done called the cops. Just go. I said, the cops are coming. Just go. I don't care if the fucking cops are coming. I'm gonna fuck you up before they get here. That's what he said. And and all of this from when what was just said to when uh, and while he's while Chris was talking that that shit saying I'm uh, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna kill you. This and that. There's I hear someone else beating on the other door. And at that point, I was scared for my life. It went from just being, you know, scared because someone I know is here to now there's someone else out here that I, I, I don't know, you know. But the entire time from when 
the first pound was on the door to when the side door gave in, it was less than one minute. I mean, it literally happened quicker than, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like there was a, a good amount of time to where, you know. Okay. You so from the time the first bang on the door to them coming in the house or the door getting kicked in was like just a no, minute or so? No shit, less, less than a minute. Okay. It was less than a minute. I, I, I couldn't believe it when, when the door came off the hinges. I mean, I really couldn't believe it. Okay, so you hear Chris's voice at the back door. You're standing there with your pistol, and he's saying, "We're gonna fuck you up." Uh, he says he's gonna kill you. Yeah, he said that. And you tell him that you've called the cops. Yeah, I hadn't called the cops because I, I literally hadn't had time. Right. My phone was actually in the bedroom. <clears throat> But he, at that point, says, basically, I don't care. We're going to fuck you up before the cops get here. Yeah. Okay. Then you hear kind of simultaneous, the way you're describing it. You know, while, while, you know, while Chris was talking, and he's, he's talking, kicking my back door. While he's talking, kicking my back door, I hear someone else kicking my side door. Okay. It wasn't just like Chris is kicking and he stops and this guy starts kicking. That's not how it was. Chris is, you know, from from where those doors are, I was 10 feet away from that back door, you know, where I'm standing at. Okay. You know, so I can hear everything Chris is saying. I don't know if the guy downstairs, if he was saying anything or not, I couldn't okay. hear him. Okay. You know, but I could hear him banging on the door. You know, they, the banging on the doors the, or the kicking of the door started all right about the same time, you know. I can't tell which one got kicked first. I told you that because I was back in the I was back in the bedroom, right. or in the right. bathroom, uh, you know. So I honestly don't know which one, which one, who was kicking doors first. I, okay. I don't know, you know. But when but when it got to the point where there's two doors in my house that are being kicked on and continuing to be kicked on, and one guy's yelling, you know, I'm here to fuck you up, we're gonna kill you, and right. I don't know who the other guy is. Right. You know, and 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 I I guess, I guess that, that 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 guy, he had to have yelled back there to Chris, you know, hey, I got it open or something, because they came in one after the next. Okay. When when that door come open, okay, how many times do you think it was kicked? If you had, and I, I if you don't know, you don't know. I but, don't know. Okay, I don't know. Um, as many times as they could kick it within, you know, I, I seen the door, and I mean that door was fucking mangled. I mean it really was. It was it was mangled, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so the door gets kicked open, and you're aware. I am about centered up with the stairs. Okay. At the very top floor? On the top floor? On the top floor. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't on the bottom floor. I was on the okay. top floor. So if I'd come in your garage, you had gone up the steps to the top floor and was kind of center of the steps, I turned the, around. I was up there the whole time. Right, I'm just, I'm trying to get myself oh, okay. to where you were okay, so yeah. that I can understand. But it, it, if I was to have walked in to be able to stand right beside you, then I would have come through your den, up the steps. I would have been in about the center of the steps, but on the top floor, and then turned around facing the... I wasn't that close to the stairs. Okay, how was, far back from the stairs were you? I if was... He, Probably <clears throat> halfway between between where the stairs start and where the hallway dies out at. All right, look. If this is let's let's kind of do this. You kind of this is going to be real rough, but you kind of got a hallway here, and then that hallway kind of rolls into the, the this wall, and then you got like your kitchen cabinets and your stove. 
and then this exterior wall and your doors over here this hallway comes over and you got this front wall then you come up and you got your railing and let's see I'm trying to remember this wall kind of does this and this is your stairs is that kind of fair enough tables here mm -hmm. okay so you're thinking that you were like halfway in between the hallway and the stairs That's about right here. okay kind of in this general area yeah okay uh, far, far enough over from the railing you know I was like I said about centered up with the staircase okay I, I think I mean I all this stuff happened so fast I understand I mean close this, close to that area and that's all I'm looking for I just I'm trying to figure out what you're sitting few, at the kitchen table no. what you're sitting on the couch so this gets me in the general vicinity of where you were I was standing right in that area prepared for the worst but hoping for the best okay. were you talking back to them in any way did you say anything when all this was going on whenever they was kicking when Chris the door? was kicking the door and he's I'm I'm here to fuck you up I'm gonna kill you motherfucker yeah I told him I said Chris go the fuck away I've called the cops they're gonna arrest you okay. you know and anything else do you ever tell them that you was armed did you ever tell them you know don't come in here I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot you uh, did you ever in, entice them to come in? No, as soon as, as soon as the door come off the hinges, I told him I'm going to shoot. I said, if you come in, I'm going to shoot. And he ran in. Okay. Um, so you, you told them ahead of time, if you come in here, I'm going to shoot you. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, the, f the first guy, when the door, as soon as I saw that that door gave out, I said, if you come in, I'm going to shoot you. Hang on one second. That way between the hall and stairs. All right. So the, when the door come in, nobody just immediately rushed in. It's the door come in, and then you said. No, no, I mean, as soon as I, I, could, I could see the, the door, the top of it popped, and when the top of it popped, I knew that he was going to get in. You see what I'm saying? And I told him, and, and I, I could see right there, he's he, he's going to be in in one, one or two more kicks, I know. You know. That's, when you, that's when you told him that? I screamed it. I, I screamed it as loud as I could. I said, if, if you come in, I'm going to shoot you. Okay. And I waited as long as I could before I even fired a shot at him. I mean, he got closer than I wanted him to get. Okay. Door comes open. And what exactly do you see and what exactly do you do and who exactly is where? The first guy, I don't know his name. Okay. Never seen him before? I've never seen him. Did never he had. say anything ever that you remember? Did he say anything? Mm -hmm. No, not that I remember. Okay. But at, at this point, he he could have he could have said anything, and honestly, my adrenaline at that point was was pumping so Pretty hard. High. Yeah, it was it was higher than high. Okay. Um, I, mean, I was I was physically scared. I was scared that I was I was about to get killed. I mean, that's okay. that's the God's honest truth. Okay. You know, I mean, I I personally I think that you know if someone is angry enough. To literally kick down the door of your home, they're angry enough to kill you. That's how I, that's how I felt. You know, and Chris had already said that you know I'm, you know I'm here to kill your ass and then you know kick open my door. <clears throat> I know I know we're kind of hung up on this and I don't mean to be, but. Door comes open, and the first guy that you don't know comes in. Okay. Yeah. How far behind him is Chris at this point? Half a second. Okay, so it's just boom, boom. They were both right there. Yeah. Okay. How far did the guy, what, what did you do first, as far as, as best you can remember, your shots? As soon as, as, soon as the first guy came in, Chris was right behind him. The first guy got over to the edge of like the Love Sea area, and and I I fired two shots at him. 
they both hit from where it looked like to me. And he was still coming, and I put a third shot in him. And then Chris was still coming, and, and I thought Chris had something in his hand, I couldn't tell. But I, it looked like he had something in his hand. It might have been a damn cell phone. I, I, honestly, I, I don't okay. know. But, you know, he had, he had hollered that he's going he's gonna to kill me, and, I, and, and I, I couldn't tell what was in his hand, so I, I didn't know. So I immediately turned to Chris after that, and I shot him twice. Okay. When you say that you, you shot the first guy twice, your, your intent was shooting at the first guy. That was your initial shots. Yes, sir. Okay, so he was the first one in. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I placed them in the order that they came in. Okay. I had to, you know. It happened so fast. I'm not kidding. It happened so fast that, you know, another second and a half, he would have he been where I was standing. And you thought you hit... First guy. I'm I'm pretty sure I hit him with all with all three. Okay. Because the the third one's what is what he quit moving. Okay. Because he he was still coming forward. The first two shots I fired, he was still coming forward. Okay. So initially shot at first guy. Thought you hit first guy twice, but was still coming. Toward you, correct? Yes, sir. And third shot is when he went down. Yes, sir. None of this should ever should have even happened. Chris is directly behind first guy. No, he's to the side of him a little bit. Behind him to the side. Okay. And, and to his left, correct? The yeah. first guy's left. He, Chris was to the first guy's left. Yeah. You, you know, saw and, something. And even, and even when, you know, when the first guy went down, Chris was still coming forward towards me. You know. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay. So, Chris is directly behind the first guy and to his left. You saw something in his hand, didn't know what it was. And even as the first guy went down, Chris was still advancing towards you. Um, at that point, you fired what you believe is three rounds. Oh, I fired two at Chris. Okay, but but at, at, at just before you fired at Chris, you fired three rounds, yes, and then we're at the moment, and I know we're like splitting these seconds in in micro frames here, but as best you can recall, as the first guy went down, and Chris is advancing towards you. What exactly happens then? You just. How many times did you fire? Where was he at? Twice. Okay. He was uh, <clears throat> right past. He was, uh, How far do you think he was from, say, the base of the stairs? Uh, he was... about where my coffee table was at. So approximately halfway between the door and the bottom of the steps? About. Close. Okay. Close. Did you, could you tell where you hit him, Chris? I, tr I, I was aiming for his shoulder. That's where I was aiming.
Okay. Um, do you think you hit Chris both times, or I'm not could sure. you tell? I okay. Tell. So when you when you shot twice at Chris, what happened? He turned and ran out. Okay. And and just kind of continue with your story. After that, uh, I wasn't sure if there was, if they had anyone else with them that might have been in the car or anything like that. Uh, uh, I called Emily real quick. I said, hey, I don't know if there's anyone else here. Uh, there's been a shooting at the house. Uh, I need you to call an ambulance, call the police now. And she said, all right, I'm calling them right now. Okay. Obviously told her what had happened. Yeah, I just, I just, I just said there was a shooting. Call, you know, call the cops. I said I don't, I, I don't want to be on, on the phone with the cops and someone else walk in. You know, that I wasn't expecting. You know, yeah. thinking that, that the threat's completely gone. <clears throat> and, and I'm not, I'm definitely not trying to be Monday, Monday morning quarterback to say you were right or you were wrong in that decision there. But I mean, I, I have to ask just because it, it's kind of come up in our conversation. At that point, what was your reason in calling her instead of us? Because I know whenever you dial 911, you get, they're asking you questions and I'm already scrambled, my brain scrambled, and I didn't know if there was anyone else that would, that would potentially be coming in the house. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So and, and I, I knew that I could call her and say say it, it wasn't it, we didn't have a ten minute long phone conversation I, and I knew that's what it would be with the dispatcher. I I wasn't sure if there was someone else that was still gonna you know possibly come into the house and I didn't want to be caught with my pants down, you know talking on the phone. So I I made a quick phone call to her. <clears throat> I said look two guys just came in the house you know there's been a shooting call the cops now. You know, I turned what I thought would have been a, a, a five minute long phone conversation into a 15 second phone conversation, just in case there was still someone out there. Okay. That's, that's my reasoning for doing that. And I knew that you'd ask me that. Well, and, and, and what I've taken from that is you didn't call 911 because you wanted to remain alert. Uh, that's, that, I mean, you that's, didn't know that's if anyone else was there or not. Yes, sir. Okay. And I mean, I, to be honest, I, I hadn't even thought about it that way. And, uh, you know, well that, that, that's why we asked. That just, makes perfect sense. I just you know? didn't want to be, you know, I, I know how it goes. I know that if I call and the dispatcher is going to say, well, where are you? What's your address? You know, and I was a little discombobulated at the time. I mean, yeah, of course I could have gave my address. But at the same time, I didn't want to be on the phone on a five minute phone conversation <laughs> and then someone else comes storming in there with a damn assault rifle on. I mean, I, I didn't right. know, you know. Did you ever have your rifle out? No. Okay. No. Um, it was back. It was back in my bedroom. Okay. Uh, have you ever had your rifle out? And the reason I'm asking Amen. that is, well, there, there, and I have not seen this, but last night, after we get this search warrant, it's my understanding that there was a portion of this event, maybe on your phone, but not everything. Mm hmm. That there was, there was, possible unless there's a different incident that I'm about to describe to you that maybe you can explain. Again, I did not see this with my own two eyes, all right? But there was there was a portion that was described to me once they got the search warrant, and part of the search warrant was your phone and any type of, you know, media or anything like that on there that might, due to all this Wi-Fi connection, offer any type of explanation. It was my understanding that, that you were like in the same area that you described, but with your rifle, and then the video goes off. It like goes offline. Last night? I, I'm not saying it was last night. Um, I'm just saying that there was a video on there, a short clip to where basically you're there with your rifle. Has there been, and it may have been there, from another time. There, there was, uh, there was a, uh Hell, I'd have to ask Emily for her to tell me what night it was. But there was uh, the dog, anytime she hears something, you know, she's really, 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 really good about hearing something okay. and going straight to the door for it. Okay. 
Um, so you think that what may have been seen on that video was something totally unrelated to yeah, last night? Yeah, there, there was a time it was, I know it, I know it's been at least a week ago, it might have even been a little longer, Okay. where <clears throat> the dog started barking and I heard something outside okay. and I wasn't sure what it was. You know, hell, it could have been a, a, a raccoon or something out there, I don't know. But, but I just, Got up and made sure everything was was kosher. You get what I'm saying? Checked all the, checked all the doors and well, and that that makes sense too because if that was accurate in being last night, I was very baffled as to why you would have perpassed an assault rifle for a for handgun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm asking. And, and no, I'm not saying that it was last night. Uh, I think the assumption preliminarily was. You know, it, it, it may have been last night, so you know what, why sense. did that yeah. happen like no, that? that makes sense. Your explanation makes sense to me. Um, yeah, there was. It was. It was. <coughs> I can get a closer date if I ask Emily. Uh, okay. And so, if there's a, a clip on there, then it's it should be dated, dated, and everything. Yeah. Um, kind of a um, wrap up cover all question okay is there anything else that I've not asked you that you haven't told me um, anything about this event anything about leading up to this event um, honest to God we had there was no problems okay. I mean honestly leading up into this okay. you know I mean I just that's that's why I said just a minute ago that all this is so stupid right. and that there was no reason it should have happened it was it, is, it, it was uncalled for. This, um, to kind of get to your, your phone question that you'd asked me earlier, obviously right now I cannot release your phone That's to fine. you. I told you. Um, you know, that is, uh, you know, if I gave you a list of, of five key pieces of evidence that, that this case holds, uh, obviously your phone would be on that list. Um, I don't have at this particular moment a time frame for you That's on I can, when that might become available, but I can tell you that just based upon my experience and if I if I knew what I knew and I was in your shoes, I would go ahead and just get me another phone to prepare for a uh, a, a potential lengthy um, time away from that phone until you know all of this is kind of you know it reaches a point to where it, it's decisions made and, and things are in the clear, okay? Um, <clears throat> I kind of figured that. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's... I mean, I'm, I'm not a... You know, obviously with text messages, you know, had it not been for the, you know, the text messages back and forth, then, you know, that, that might be, you know, there may be a different answer I could provide to you, but, you know, that that's the main reason. Um, now let me ask you this i think do your does your phone have any passcodes or anything that's going to limit access to your text messages and things um it's it's based on my fingerprint okay so, i always get onto it with my fingerprints so okay so your fingerprint is is the unlock there's no code or it's it has to be your fingerprint to unlock the phone. That's how I've always done it. Okay. Um, I know on my, my other iPhone there was a backup a backup password. Okay. But I, I didn't ever use it. Okay. I've only had that phone probably three months, three okay. or four months. I I don't. <clears throat> I, I know you've got a set of backup password. I can give you if if you need me to give you the passwords that I think that. It, that it could be because there's only a few that I use. Well, here, here's what I'm thinking, okay? Um, I'm just going to be completely upfront with you. Some, and I'm not saying yours is one, to be quite honest, I've not even touched your phone. Uh, I know that it was collected. Of course, I called two other detectives out and there were several other units on scene. Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of down here and tied up whenever they were conducting a lot of these searches and things. Um, I don't know that I can access where your phone is this second but what I'm going to ask you to do is let me check real quick to see if it's where I can get to it if it is where I can get to it to simplify things with your consent and willingness 
uh, what I'd ask you to do is maybe get that open and maybe set it to where it is not a password or okay. thumbprint protected That's fine. to enable us to be able to get in there and download, you know, specifically these text messages uh, pertaining to this event, okay? Um, I think you can understand the importance of that. Yeah. Okay. I do. Um, so let me check on that real quick and then. Um, There's only two passwords that it'll be. There's. It, I know that my last iPhone that I had before, okay. it had the thumbprint thing and it didn't ever work worth a shit. And okay. I had to actually use the password if the thumbprint didn't work. Like a number code? Yeah. What do you think but, that is? But the one on this phone. The thumbprint thing works so good. On, that's an iPhone 7. It's a brand new phone. Okay. You know, it just came out. And they, okay. They've really made them a lot better. Okay. But the, the thumbprint thing works so good on that phone that I've never had any reason to use the passcode. But there's only there's only three codes that I'd use. Okay. The first one is 1357. The second one would be 0258. Third one be one 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 three. Okay. It will be one of those three. <clears throat> but you don't think that it's either one of those three. You think it's your thumbprint. You've always got to have a backup password for it. Okay. You know what I mean. Okay. So you think that it's, it's, even without enough, your thumbprint, one of those three will get three. it in. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, just to prevent from having to, to bother you in the future. Um, let me step out real quick, uh, call the detective, and see if this is where I can get to it. If it is, make sure that this works okay. before you leave. Okay. Uh, that way, if there's an issue, maybe we can get that worked out. I'll be right back, and then, I mean, that's, let me kind of get this wrapped around my head, make sure that there's nothing I'm missing that I need to, to, to ask you about, and double check his phone, and I think we're done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back.
Okay. Uh, I was able to get a hold of him. It took me a minute to get a hold of him, but the 1113 does it? appear that it opens it, okay. so we're good on that. Okay. <coughs> um, that would be one of those three. Okay. That'll make that'll make that whole process just a, a lot a lot smoother, a lot easier. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> I guess um, whatever I can do to help you guys. Okay. Is there anything else that? And again, I'm not saying that there is, but is there anything else that you can think of that and maybe kind of sitting here uh, on I'm that just, short break? Just that, racking my brain about it just okay. now, and, I, and honestly, I we've been pretty thorough. I mean, okay. we we're good at what you do for sure. I mean, well, we, we're like just that. you know, it's like I've told you from the very beginning. One thing that you're going to see uh, about this is. Uh, everything that I've told you from the very beginning you're gonna see um, yeah, it's just been the truth you know that's that's the only way that I like to do business um, just be honest with you be honest with people uh, treat people the way that you would want to be treated if using their shoes unless they give you a reason that you can't and uh, you know most of the times that works um, nothing, but, nothing but good to me I, and I really do appreciate okay. it um, if I think of anything else, uh, honestly, okay. uh, if I if I think of any detail that I left out or, or anything, and we're good to, I, I'm good to continue to to reach out to you if I need to through please. Emily's phone. Okay. Yeah, please. Um, I, I can't think of anything else right now, so we'll go ahead and and I do apologize. I think we're probably close to an hour longer than what I kind of thought, but. Uh, I don't know that we got started right at four, so maybe we're not extreme, but uh, you know, it's just important to get, you know, to get your side and, and to understand, you know, exactly what transpired. Um, there is getting ready to be uh, kind of an update to this, um, just to make you aware. Uh, we're probably getting ready to release the, the names of the two individuals that was at your house. Um, now, what we are going to do, we, we've kind of talked about this, uh, is we're going to continue to withhold as best and as long as we can your identity, okay? Um, and, and let me just ask you, I mean, does that make you feel better that your identity not be released? Yeah, it does, but at the same time, the, the news reporters have been all over my house. Okay. I mean, they've been circling we're, the house all day long. We're, we're going to, uh, I mean, we're going to do our best to, there's there certain, basically there are certain laws that enable the media to get certain access to certain things, okay, but and I from our perspective. And how serious and how big of a deal this is. Right. Well, from our perspective, we feel that by doing that, that might help kind of preserve, by preserving your identity. Um, will kind of give maybe some some heated people a chance to cool down and not that other people can't tell them who did this but I've already I've already thought about it just from earlier when I seen my house on the news I thought I'm like what if someone is want to retaliate against me for this shit you know right right uh, and and it's and and that's just the facts you know yeah. uh, everybody, well, everybody's you, got that one crazy ass family member right. you know? Well, if you need anything, give us a call. I will. You can do what you want. I can't, you know, be your be your dad or your big brother to tell you what you should or shouldn't do. Um, I would recommend to you, like I would anyone, that I would probably uh, reserve from engaging or allowing anyone to engage on your behalf in any, you know, social media comments. Uh, media comments if they was to reach out to you um, I mean I just there can uh, I'm not saying that, that bad would come from it but it's kind of one of those situations of um, it may run a risk of you know a greater potential of, of negative arising from that than, than positive exactly so well, um, I'm right you know, with you it, it's you know that's that would be for what it's worth just a a piece of advice. Um, I, I, 
cannot think of anything that I'm missing. Uh, go ahead and, and uh, we'll check to see if Emily's up front. I bet she's here. still in the car. Yeah, she's, she probably had an hour, hour worth of phone calls to make, just calling her mom and stuff. We'll double check so that she's not in the car. Thank you. 